Hey Excel Geeks, in this series we are going to cover topic called how to insert a header and footer. Right? If you um, run voice in it and don't know how to insert a header or maybe footer for that matter, right? Uh, I'm happy to support you there. Correct? So I have seen uh, multiple people, even I've seen the uh, explode, I would say, right, on the YouTube too. People are adding a headers like this. They're selecting the sales and then, then merging it. This is the header for them and then they're merging it and then this is the footer for them okay then they, they are saying that this is the header and this is the footer okay i'm not denying that fact no this for visually if you see it right uh, it can be a correct approach but when i do a control p okay or maybe when i export it into the pdf okay trying to pdf that time you can see right this header and footer doesn't have any kind of a significance right header is not appropriate in a header way and footer the verb as which we have added it's not in the footer section so in this case what we need to do don't worry i'm here to help you out so i'll just insert a new uh, tab over here okay so now in this initial stage itself i have uh, told you that you know we need to insert header and footer meaning the option of insertion will available in the insert ribbon itself right so we'll click on the insert and then text and then here we go header and footer as soon as you press the header and footer this particular ribbon will turn that on okay let me quickly show you once again you can see these are the power pivot until we have these buttons when i click on insert again text section header and footer you can see one more ribbon get added right now this header and footer why we need it okay first thing second thing uh, why it's important to add header and footer first and foremost okay to add a page numbers for your excel spreadsheet first second when we said a any kind of a data to the client or maybe uh, to our respective stakeholders if you want to add a file name or maybe a reference name or maybe date for that matter okay you can add that in the excel spreadsheet without hassle okay uh, i'll quickly show you how it looks like because when i do a you know you know typing methodology typing you can do it okay by manually you can do it but there is a auto generated code when we select a appropriate value from the header and footer it's a auto generated code i would say header left hand side center and right hand side okay so sorry for the background noise there is a ganpati visarjana is ongoing so that's the reason there is a background noise uh header and footer so header i'll just click over here this is my page one okay you can see and page one this kind of code over here right so i'll just remove this once again Enter. page one enter and then as soon as i insert a many more spreadsheets okay uh, it will get change header and footer again I'll click confidential document this is a document is confidential so this will be a top of the header of mine i'll just remove this one i'll add something else so this will help you to add a labeling basically right so add this date and then when I do a scroll it down in a footer section I want to add a footer so I'll say again prepared by who is prepared so prepared by so and so person and the page number so whenever I add a multiple spreadsheets the automatically number will increased and uh, this will help me you know to avoid a manual uh, work which I usually doing a merging this particular thing and not getting the appropriate result right as a hassle free I can do it this particular work and now when I started working on this cool header and footer again I'll just click over here if in case I want to add anything else I'll quickly explain you each of the segment page number so basically we'll add a page number over here number of pages how many pages uh, i mean total number of pages uh, there right so those particular numbers will reflect it over here 
current date what is the current date so date will be reflect over here current time if you want to showcase you can just click it over here right current if in case uh, you want to showcase a file path uh, at the time of you know when we create a job ads guide right in the companies uh, any of the organization right that time we usually add this guide that particular reference is taking in this excel spreadsheet and the file is located to so and so location right so that time we use this option which is a file path file name if in case any file name for appropriate a file then time you can use it sheet name image if in case uh, you want to add any kind of a you know, photo uh, major majority time right uh, we don't add any kind of a personal photo though we just add our logo company logos that time we can use this cool directly go to the footer you can just click over here and so and so forth so this is how it is header and footer section right and uh, we'll quickly jump to the next screen then yeah so i'll do a control p over here when i type any kind of an a content right over here if you can see and just select this particular spreadsheet uh this time you can see the control p when i press it generating a format so basically what type of information we have added earlier right those kind of information we can see it over here header and footer and the top of the header and the bottom of the footer and this is the content basically right so this is how it works header and footer option folks if you uh, like if you new to this channel please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching have a great day ahead